Good morning. It's early. I have a cup of coffee on the go. And this is something I do first thing in the morning. Either before or after coffee. It all depends on how I feel. But the first thing we do is we light up this wood-burning furnace during the winter months. And that's what this video is about. It's about using a wood-burning furnace indoors. I recently did a video about making kindling with a log splitter and you can see that right here by clicking on the link. So this here is a Clayton wood burning furnace for indoors. Before we moved here we lived in the city and we had gas burning furnaces and uh, that was fine for the city. It was cheap. Burning gas isn't uh, expensive at all. But when we moved into the country, we have an oil furnace behind this wood burning furnace, and we have this wood burning furnace. This here saves us lots of money and it heats the home really well. Of course, there is some work involved. You know, you have to get wood, you have to cut wood, you have to split it, stack it, all that sort of thing. And I don't mind doing that. You know, it's, it keeps you in shape, it gives you something to do on the boring days and uh, you save money. So I'll show you a little bit about this wood burning furnace and show you how it operates. And then we'll light it. So with this wood burning furnace, you have a lot of room in here for wood. This, this is really huge inside here. So you can put a fair amount of wood in there and burn for a long amount of time. You have a damper here. You can let air in here and you can also let air in here. Down here, this is where there is a big steel tray to collect ashes and you can clean it out. I do that once in a while. Right now it needs to be done because there's quite a bit of ashes in there and there. So I'll be doing that tomorrow probably. Up here we have an exhaust hood that like you have over your stove and you can see it's wired up and it runs, it has an exhaust pipe going towards outside. So what that does, it's just a little extra help for when you're opening up the door and say you have it open and some smoke escapes, you turn on that fan and the fan will take that little bit of smoke and, and send it outside. Now what we have here and you can't see it inside unless I put the camera inside the, the wood stove or the wood furnace is we have copper water pipes that run through the wood stove and as the wood stove is running, you know, the wood is burning, it heats up the copper pipes and it sends hot water to the hot water tank. It's actually a smaller hot water tank before the main hot water tank and it warms up the water so that you end up saving money on hot water as well through the winter months of course. So now I'll show you how I light the wood burning furnace. First I'm going to open up this damper all the way to cause a, dra a draw. We'll open up the door and a uh, little, little bit of air in here and now we'll get some newspaper so we crumpled up a bit of newspaper to start the fire, but first I'll take the poker in here and I'll just move the ashes around because sometimes you have to see if there's hot coals in here, some embers, get them stirred up a little bit, it makes it fire, makes the fire easier to start. So we'll put the newspaper in there and get some kindling. So we've got the kindling, the paper and the kindling in there. Now I get some small pieces of wood to start the fire.
And now we throw in a couple of larger pieces. And this should uh, be just perfect for, maybe I'll put it this way. It should be just perfect for lighting up the fire. Now I'll get the lighter and we'll spark it up. That should be good. As you can see, that's starting to take off nicely. I don't stuff it full of wood right at the beginning. I've seen videos where people do that, but you know, I, I get enough wood in there to get a good fire going. And I, I check back on it in about 15, 20 minutes, see how it's going. If it needs more wood, then I'll put more wood in. So at this point, I'll close the door. And we'll shut the damper, but not all the way. We wanted to give it enough air to keep going. And I'll check it in a second. Yeah, see, it needs a little more air still. So I'll, I usually just stay here and I'll keep the door open just a little bit. So it more, gets more draw for air. So up here on the exhaust pipe, where the exhaust leads out to the chimney, we have a heat gauge. And you can see right now, after I lit it, it's reading at about 110 roughly. Once it re reaches about 200, then, you, then the furnace will kick on. But I try to get it up around 300. And I like to have it run around 300. It runs cleaner that way, even a little hotter. Now we've reached a temperature of 200 and the furnace, the blower has kicked on. The blower is part of the oil furnace and it pushes air down through there and up, pushes the heat up into the house. I'll open this up and show you how good it's burning now. See, it's nice and hot in there. We'll close that up now. And we should have a good fire. Keep that going all day long. Keep our house heated all day long. Basically, just the cost of labor of cutting wood. Because this wood here, I got free from a friend's property. So thanks for watching this video about using a wood furnace indoors. It's a great furnace. I never thought I'd be burning wood anywhere until I moved to the country. I couldn't believe it. I, we have this wood furnace, we have a fireplace upstairs, and we use, we use this mostly up there. We'll use it just once in a while if it's a really cold day or we just want to have it, a fire going just for comfort. Makes a nice atmosphere, right? So now that I got this running, I'm going to finish my coffee, I'm going to go make some toast, have a little breakfast. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get notifications when, you get more, when, when we do more videos. And please hit the like button and leave a comment if you like. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.